we sometimes sound like a broken record. There are certain issues that are vital to keeping America free and independent nation. Unfortunately, there are pundits who do not mention these issues or take the wrong side. In other words, present false solutions to our problems that have the potential to make things even worse. What sparked me to do this segment was an ad on conservative social media network which asked people to sign a petition for a particular so-called solution to our problems. The ad is not important, but the action they're asking you to take needs to be discussed. Two solutions that are continually being presented to conservatives are a complete bait and switch. If you understand how Marxists work, you know that they are great manipulators. Their end goal can be achieved through a frontal assault or through a stealth operation that gains the support of the conservatives. Let's start off by noticing that America has a system of local police. We are the only nation that doesn't have a national police force. Our police are organized on a state and local level. That means they're controlled and financed by the local citizens for the benefit of the local communities. Canada has a hybrid system which mixes local and national police. The communists want a national police system as the first step towards international police under the control of the United Nations. All totalitarian governments have national police forces be holding to the government rather than to the people. The John Birch Society has long had a support your local police and keep them independent movement for almost as long as we've been in existence. It has been one of our most successful programs. Most people believe in the aims of this movement. But recently, due to the defund the police movement, too many people are talking about financing the police. Usually this means financing from the federal government. The problem with this is that once the federal government starts to finance and equip local police, these steps begin to ultimately bring local law enforcement under federal control. In other words, a national police that will not be controlled by the state or local communities. So yes, let's adequately fund our local police departments but do it locally without federal money or guidelines. Because once the federal government gets involved, it will ultimately take over the local police departments like night follows day. It seems that the Republican answer to funding the police is a federal program, not local ones. The second problem we see is the federal government not following the Constitution. Our Constitution was set up with basic guidelines. When they are ignored, it becomes a serious problem. If those in government actually follow the Constitution as written, it would solve just about every national problem that we have. Instead of demanding adherence to the Constitution, there are those who are persuading many to alter the Constitution through a convention. They promote the idea that a convention can be restricted to proposing amendments that will impose fiscal restraints on the federal government, limit its power and jurisdiction, and impose term limits on its officials and members of Congress. Frankly, if the people in Washington do not follow the Constitution now, what makes anyone believe that they'll follow any new provisions or an entirely new Constitution? Therefore, we believe the leadership of this movement have something else in mind. Consider the current state of affairs in your state. Can you be sure the delegates representing your state to such a convention of states or constitutional convention will be true constitutionalists? How will they be elected or appointed? Do you have true constitutionalists in the leadership of your state, or do they say one thing and do another? If you do not know who your delegates will be to such a convention, how can you be sure of the outcome? And consider the special interest and lobbying groups. Can there be true constitutionalists at the convention when you consider people such as George Soros and Mark Zuckerberg will pour massive money into the elective process? And it will not only be a problem within the hall of the convention, it will be mass chaos outside of the meeting 
with Marxist demonstrations and disruptions demanding that those inside bend to their will. To top it off, the so-called conservative leaders of this movement have a history of working toward a convention with people on the left who also want a convention. Look, the left doesn't make mistakes about who or what they support. How many times have conservatives been fooled by people claiming to be conservative leaders who either do nothing or slow walk a situation until it disappears from the public mind? We cannot afford to mess with the Constitution. We must support it and do all we can to get our state representatives to understand the danger of holding any kind of convention. Meet with your state representatives now and ask them some pertinent questions like, Will making any changes in the Constitution work if the people in Washington don't pay any attention to the Constitution now? Are there flaws in the Constitution? If so, what are they? And will changing them make any difference in Washington's adherence to the Constitution? Ask them, have they really studied the Constitution? Try to get them to watch the Constitution is the Solution video series. Adherence to the Constitution is what we need, not changing it. The forces behind this movement are heavy with cash. From whom? They are very closed about who is paying for all of their spending. They have convinced several conservative leaders to support some form of convention. It will be hard to convince some of these people to change their minds. When you run across them, do all you can to simply use logic to demonstrate that they are looking at the wrong thing to solve our problems. The place to look at is the electorate. They must be educated. If they're not, they will continue to vote for false candidates and solutions no matter what the Constitution says. And get as many people in your neighborhood to watch the Constitution is the Solution video series.